The history of mankind has been characterized by cruel rulers who used absolute force and terror to gain complete control of the public. Facts Mission brings you 7 Cruelest Leaders in History Number 7. Idi Amin Dada This man is also known as Idi Amin of Uganda. Idi Amin Dada was the military dictator and president of Uganda from 1971 to 1979. He joined the British colonial regiment, the King's African Rifles, in 1946 and later held the rank of Major General in the post-colonial Ugandan Army and soon became its commander before seizing power in the military coup of 1971 in which he deposed Milton Obote. He later promoted himself to field marshal while he was the head of state. Idi Amin's rule was characterized by excessive high-handedness involving human rights abuses, ethnic persecutions, political persecutions, extrajudicial killings and the expulsion of Indians from Uganda. About 500,000 people were likely killed during his regime. He died of kidney failure in Saudi Arabia on July 20, 2023. Number 6. Pol Pot Pol Pot was the leader of the Khmer Rouge and the Prime Minister of Cambodia from 1976 to 1979. He eventually became the leader of Cambodia on April 17, 1975. While in power, Pol Pot's radical communist government forced mass evacuation of cities, killed and displaced millions of people and brought about great starvation and disease. His government accounted for the death of about 1 million people who died from forced labor, starvation, disease, torture or brutal execution. Number 5. Vlad the Impaler Vlad the Impaler was the Prince of Wallachia who ruled mainly from 1456 to 1462. Vlad is best known for executing his enemies by impalement and coming up with various forms of torture. She was a fan of various torture, including disemboweling and rectal and facial impalement. He tortured thousands while he ate and drank among the corpses. He was so cruel that he impaled every person in the city of Amlars, nearly 20,000 men, women and children. Vlad tortured people so badly, ordering them to be skinned, boiled, decapitated, blinded, strangled, hanged, burned, roasted, hacked, nailed, stabbed or buried alive. He also loved the idea of cutting off noses, ears, sexual organs and limbs of his victims. Number 4. Ivan IV Ivan IV of Russia, also known as Ivan the Terrible, was the Grand Duke of Muscovy from 1533 to 1547 and was the first ruler of Russia and the first to proclaim himself Tsar of Russia in 1547. Ivan is known to have possessed complex personality as he was described as intelligent and devout, yet given to quick temper and episodic outbreaks of mental illness. He enjoyed burning thousands of people in frying pans and was fond of impaling people. About 500 and 1000 people were gathered every day by Ivan's soldiers and then tortured and killed in the presence of Ivan and his sons. He was often suspicious of the nobilities around him and as a result, we met out cruel persecutions against them. Ivan IV died of stroke while playing chess. Number 3. Timur Timur is also known as Tamerlane. Born in 1336, Timur was a Mongol Turkic conqueror. He became a criminal early in life, stealing goods and animals from travelers and later worked as a mercenary. Timur is particularly known for his military prowess and the brutality of his campaigns. He led military expeditions across Western, Southern and Central Asia, the Caucasus and Southern Russia. His invasions were characterized by harsh tactics and widespread destruction. His armies are estimated to have killed 17 million people, which was approximately 5% of the population at the time. He left pyramids of human skulls as testaments to his cruelty. Timur died in 1405 while on a military campaign to conquer China. Number 2. Adolf Hitler Adolf Hitler was an Austrian-born German politician and leader of the National Socialist German Workers' Party. He was Chancellor of Germany from 1933 to 1945 and dictator of Nazi Germany from 1934 to 1945. Hitler was the chief founder of Nazism, the major engineer of World War II and the architect of the Holocaust. 
By the end of the Second World War, Hitler's harsh policies of territorial conquest and racial supremacy had brought death and destruction to tens of millions of people, including the genocide of some 6 million Jews in what is now known as the Holocaust. He committed suicide on 30 April 1945 by shooting himself while simultaneously biting into a cyanide capsule. Before we bring you number one, kindly like and share this video and subscribe to New Klein Pictures. At number one, Joseph Stalin. Joseph Vissaranovich Stalin was the premier of the Soviet Union from 6th May 1941 until his death on March 5th, 1953. He was among the prominent Bolshevik revolutionaries who brought about the Russian Revolution in 1917. Stalin probably exercised greater political power than any other figure in history. In the 1930s, by his orders, millions of peasants were either killed or permitted to starve to death. Stalin brought about the death of more than 20 million of his own people while holding the Soviet Union in an iron grip for 29 years. In view of the inhuman atrocities committed by these cruel leaders, it is evident that humans need veritable leaders who have the interests of their subjects at heart. How would you describe the current leader of where you live? Don't forget to subscribe to Fact Mission on Nuclear Pictures for highly educative and entertaining contents. Catch you next time.